called uh, Reno Titicatney. Oh, kia ora, Mr Chair. Um, I'm pleased to speak in this estimates uh, debate. And I'd like to uh, stick with the uh, Māori development uh, sector, sir, uh, which is spearheaded by Tupuni Kōkiri. And uh, Tupuni Kōkiri, sir, as we know, uh, means in Māori a group of people moving forward. And uh, if you would envisage, uh, think of Tamatatini, think of our, our, our kapahaka teams and, and the precision and the power with, with, with which they move, uh, that's, that's really what we should envisage from Tupuni Kōkiri. Uh, alas, sir, uh, it, it, is, uh, it is very much not that. Uh, Tupuni Kōkiri in 2015 is, is, in, is in shambles and it, it is in disarray because, sir, there is a, a lack of leadership from the minister over uh, his ministry. And, and it's evident, sir, because we had the chief executive and her senior team uh, come to the committee earlier in the year. And, and sir, there has been a never-ending restructure happening within Te Puni Kōkiri during the current CEO's tenure. Uh, when we asked the question about when will this restructure be completed, when will you have your executive team in place, the chief executive said, oh, uh, by the end of this year. Can you, by the end of this year, to get an executive team in place, uh, and prior to that, the restructuring had taken two years already. And so, sir, what we have is really inept leadership, and it, it goes further than that, sir, because we, we know, we understand that there is a breakdown in the relationship between this minister and the chief executive. And it's widely known around town that there is a dysfunctional relationship there, so much so that this minister now is going directly to staff, interfering to, to he's gone rogue uh, in terms of trying to um, get, get his projects uh, 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 done. And so that we have very real concerns about Te Puni Kōkiri, sir. There is, no, there is no great group moving forward. This is a, it is a shambles, uh, and uh, it's... Uh, evidenced by what has the minister actually produced. Now, we have rising unemployment in this country. We have plummeting dairy prices. You know, there is a great deal of concern out there. there are, families are on the cusp of poverty. This is, this is a very real concern. And so what does this minister, what, what has his, him and his ministry come up with? Uh, well, the first piece of uh, legislation that we've waited for that has come through to this House is a Māori purposes bill which updates a, a Māori, a private whānau trust in the Gisborne area from last century. It updates them to uh, the 1993 to Tūre Whenua Māori Act, which is going to be amended next year. Um, that is the priority which this minister has put in terms of his legislative uh, programme. Uh, so that is uh, absolutely appalling. And we've also seen the debacle, sir, the debacle around the Te Reo Māori Bill. Now, I won't bring you, Mr Chair, into this debate, but members of our committee are well aware that we have been very charitable, I would say, sir, to this minister, because we know that uh, there were deep problems with the bill that was uh, put, sent to us at the committee. And so we have been very accommodating to this minister to, uh, to give him every opportunity to try and resurrect the bill and address some of the deep deep flaws that were contained there, uh, therein. Uh, and so we're not, out, we're not through the woods yet. Uh, we, it rests on our committee to, to actually complete the job and hopefully we can get there and, and, and come up with a workable piece of legislation. But, but as it stands here, again, a failure by this minister and a lack of leadership. He should have just scrapped it and started again right from the start, which was what all of Māori were talking about and telling him to do. Uh, can I go on to find no order, sir? Uh, the minister that just resumed her seat, she talked that that whānau order is working. Well, I would hope, sir, that whānau order is working, sir, because the first four years of whānau order, there was $137.6 million spent on it, of which a third of that amount, over $40 million, was spent on administration and research and evaluation. $40 million. So I would really hope that final order is working because that's an incredible amount of money which the Auditor General actually pointed out should have been going directly to whānau in need, which is what the kaupapa of whānau order is all about. Now, sir, I could go on to treaty settlements. I'm looking forward to uh, 
putting, progressing the uh, first readings of some uh, settlement legislation which is coming through the House uh, tomorrow. Uh, that is a positive piece of work that we do as a committee. We're not all negative. We actually are uh, work uh, cohesively together to progress that very important work. Uh, thank you, sir. I call Materia 